I think you always saying something about that. Yeah, sure. You're like yeah, I'm always saying that. Boss. I'm Larry. And I'm Joe. That's, That's news to us. us. Today's top story. Women who worked at the same restaurant find out they're biological sisters. Really? Yeah. When did they find out? Like when one of them was born and the other one had, hey, look, I have a sister? Or did they find out while they were working? We'll probably find out in the story. Oh. Oh, I see. Yeah. They will find out. Coming up. <gasps> I swear. <laughs> So, Joe, a pair I'm of so women sorry, who became dude. close friends while working at the same restaurant discovered nine years <laughs> later, nine years later after they've been working. He went it right away. Yeah, I know. I mean, it was like a second in. I'm sorry. <laughs> but they are biological so sisters. Uh, Cassandra hey, Madison and Julia Tinetti said they met in 2013 when they were both working at the Russian Lady Restaurant in New Haven. I wonder what kind of food they had. Probably Russian. I, I think they were rushing around. Unless they were in a hurry. Yeah, Make sure it was still So hot. fast food? Yeah. McDonald's stuff? Yeah. Cheeseburger? No, I think it was uh, fast food. a step up from that because it was a restaurant. So like Applebee's? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. My wife calls it crap Applebee's. She doesn't like it. <laughs> I like Applebee's. I do, I do too, sometimes. Yeah. The women said we transgress. <laughs> what? <laughs> we transgress. <laughs> That's how you said it. I know what you were trying to say, but it didn't come out the way. The women said they quickly became friends <laughs> and bonded over both having Dominican Republic tattoos and being adopted. That uh, is weird. Yeah. They tattoo they babies? Them. I guess. That's messed up, man. Like, they mark them. Hmm. Well, how about that? Madison and Tinetti said they suspect... Just call is, there, is that... No, Julia. Why don't they say Cassandra and Julia? Wait, who's Julia, though? Julia Tinetti. Oh, we're going by last names. Yeah. Said yeah they, Julia's way easier to say. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Said they suspected they might be related, but information from Tinetti's, or Julia, adoption paperwork, which they only later discovered was erroneous. <laughs> erroneous? Erroneous. erroneous. No, you know, it. You're crushing Made a biological connection between the two seem impossible. This, I'm excited to see what happens. Madden said she <laughs> connected her with her biological family two years ago and only recently learned from her father that the family had another daughter who was put up for adoption. Wait a minute. Well, they were getting rid of kids left and right. Wait a minute here. So they, so the one person, whoever the name is, found their biological parents. Yeah. And then they waited two years to tell her that she had a sister? Yeah. That's messed up, man. A DNS test? A D, what did I say? DNA. A DNS test. A it's kind of close a, to a DNA test. It's a different service. It's a different one, though. Um, yeah, but that's in, how. Dude. In February, God, I'm excited. Proved Madison and Tanetti were sisters. The women said they now know they have seven other siblings who were raised what? by their birth. So. Oh, they got these two were nine, the first a lot. Well, these either they were the last two or the first two. There's no way they're in the middle, right? Yeah, right. Why yeah, so, would you get rid of the so middle So either ones? you were too young when you had the kids, or you, or you were too old when you yeah, had the kids. Yeah, either that or they're ugly, and they was like, oh. Well, think about it. You start having kids when you're 20, uh, let's say 21. I'm just saying. Right? I don't I'm know saying, why. Say 21. You have seven kids. You have all Irish twins, so they're, you know, 18 months apart. That put you right around, what, 36 when you're done having kids? Say seven. And then, say five years later, they're 44 or 42, and they get pregnant again. Yeah. Like, wouldn't you want to keep that kid? I'd be like, ah, I just raised these seven yeah, kids, man. I'm beat. And my wife and I don't even get along. Beat. We had sex twice yeah. in the last four years. You got pregnant both times. So a lot of arguments in this again. house. Like, yeah, I think there's somebody better to raise this kid. Yeah, yeah. It's sad. Yeah, man. I can see that happening. I hope they had good lives. Tom, you should see how many kids you have. Uh, oh, no, oh, I'm sorry. No, no, yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry I hit your arm right away. That's okay. I keep flinching I now because believe... every time you move. It's in my pocket. Dude, look. Yeah. I have it in my pocket, so we're good. Yeah. I can't believe you did it right away. So, Joe, you know, what's fascinating about this is that it's like, you know, restaurant. Segway! Remi yeah, it reminds me of kind of like cereal. Right, food. And this is this is big news, guys. I mean... Well, I, siblings more than anything else is probably what you want to talk about. Nope. Siblings, yeah. Siblings. Like I, snap, crap, yeah. pop. They're siblings. Yeah. This guy is free now. He's Quaker Larry. Quaker Larry. Who would have figured? First of all, I don't appreciate that he has that name. But Well, he had it first. He looks way older than you. Well, that is true. Thank you. I appreciate that. Someone better looking. So, so <laughs> anyway, so he's a free Definitely man now because... Joe, you did an excellent job Thank on this, but it's like I don't know how this—I I don't—I don't, I don't know how this ever came about that you 
figured this, because this is mind-boggling stuff, guys. So again, I mean, look, people make mistakes. I mean, I'm like a weatherman here, and I constantly get in the wrong piece of per perfect. Well, I can understand, jail. though, because, yeah. I mean, like, I we're, know a little bit of the story, so it's like, we're I understand. We're line here. We're, we're eliminating facts. Maybe we're a little quick, too quick to arrest them, but we don't want to get away. Yeah. But, you know, after digging more deep. You don't want them to get away or get away. Right. Either one. Right. You don't want them to I'm get. I'm an investigative reporter. That's right, and he gets uh, to I'm the not, facts. I just said reporter. I said reporter. <laughs> My W's and R's are really getting confused there for some reason. Yeah, you wascally. Hopefully, wabby. I'm not having a stroke. Yeah. So, so anyway, guys, it's like this story is is bigger than the both of us, and it's it like is this is like my like be. your hat will just blow off your head. It's it's that it big might be of a bigger story. than the show. To be honest with you, I think it is, and uh, that says a lot because I'm pretty big. And it's coming out on this Tuesday. You're gonna want to check it out because uh, wow, this Tuesday, this Tuesday, this yeah. Tuesday, yeah. Tuesday. Yeah, I mean, I'm still we're in not, all of it. We're not even giving a teaser of this one because yeah. you know what? Sorry. Well, there's it's too big. They're gonna show a little. Oh, uh, we argue. I thought we. Wait. No, no, from what I'm oh, hearing, they agreed. it's just going to be, gonna be a, no, it's going to just be a still. It's not going to yeah, be a... Yeah, not a teaser, though. Yeah, not, not nothing. Yeah, a little bit of the clip. No, 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 nothing, nothing. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, you're not getting no, anything. No, we're not giving you yeah. anything this time. Because this is so... Huge. Yeah, so big. Humongadorous. So big. Like, nobody's ever seen anything as big as this. It's like the size of my pet dog, man. It got really big. Yeah. It's this like the size of my... kept on growing. Like my my, um, yeah, my deck. Oh yeah, it's it huge. It kept on getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, right. It started off yeah. a little part, then different levels. It got bigger yeah. and bigger, and bigger. And it it seems to grow at certain times. Uh, exactly. Yeah, and then it's like just, this story. And then it's huge. Um, yeah. Huge. So huge. Yeah. Um, Are we going? Yeah. Sorry. Oh uh, yeah. I can take my arm out now. Yeah, you take it. I'll out. hold my paper with it. <clears throat> hey Larry, why is cockpit <laughs> called such a funny word? Why is a cockpit called? It is funny. Called? It is funny. Have you ever heard? Uh, have you ever had a word all of a sudden lose its normal? Ex no ex way! <laughs> I never heard of that before. Expect your associations and then reveal itself to you, and then all its inherent weirdness. That was a really good shot. <laughs> <laughs> you still feeling it? Oh yeah, still yeah me too. <laughs> I, I I felt bad. I can't believe we talked about it. And I did it like within three seconds. He's, like, really he's like, watch me hit him. And the joke, and I swear that I, I and I, it wasn't. Yeah, I, I wait for I won't do, I would okay. never do it on purpose. Okay. It was really a reaction, like, hey, what's up? I just did that here, doesn't hurt me at all. I'm anyway, sorry. dude, so they're talking about how like, somehow words become like different meaning, and all of a sudden you're like, that's a weird thing. You know, that is, where did that word come from? Well, I'm gonna find out. Okay. Cockpit, it's a funny word. Break it down into its component halves. And you uh, can come out with a word that means penis and hole. I never thought about penis in a hole. I really, I mean, cock, yeah, penis, but not hole. Pit. I never it's thought about. I know. Yeah. I never thought about hole though. Yeah, you know why? Because I always thought of a pit as the little thing inside of a cherry. Hey, hey Bobby, you come up and see the cock hole with us or a penis hole with us? <laughs> that sounds weird, right? Especially as a male. That's because yeah. yeah. you know when you're a kid, you can go to the cockpit and get your wings. You know, hey Larry, hey, hey, hey little Larry, you want to come up to the penis hole and get your wings? <laughs> no, I don't want to earn my wings that way. That's weird. All it reminds me of is Airplane, the movie, and I don't want to say the stuff in that movie because like, we could get in trouble. So if we take the cock part, not for the slang for genitals, but for a chicken, then we're not much better off. But we are closer to the original use of the words. The earliest uses of the word yeah. cockpit date from the 1580s. Wow. Yes. We had airplanes back then. I don't wow. think so. When it was used to refer to a hole or arena where cocks slash chickens were placed to fight. So how does that... With a cock club. I get that, but how does that go with an well, airplane? Oh, I'm sorry. Now, in general, cockfighting, dogfighting, bullfighting, and most other forms of cruel animal-based blood sport are uncommon or even completely forbidden in the control or areas of aircraft or racing cars. Hmm. So how do we get from a hole full of chicken blood to a control seat of an aircraft? It's easier to... Did you say semen? No, we did oh. not. It's seat of. And there's not even... Oh, I thought you... I thought I'm not talking I about boats, that. dude. Well, I don't know, what, I don't know aircraft, where this story's going right now. It's about the Air Force, not the Navy. Oh. But well, even the Navy have the... You know what's funny is that all the, the fighter jets are Navy, most of them. Oh. The top yeah. gun's all Navy. Right, right. Yeah, it's crazy. So in the context of aircraft, cockpit seems to first appear in print around 1914. Which makes sense, as that's the start of World War One. The first time powered aircraft were used in quantity in warfare. Okay. The warfare anger angle. What's up with my L's, R's, and W's yeah, now? You have a problem today. 
the warfare maybe, angle. Maybe you need something to drink. <laughs> you wet your whistle. Uh, Joe, what are you drinking these days? A little whiskey and water, some ice. Oh, I fear you might be going down a dark road here. Well, beep beep, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you get a good one and it just lays good. All right, anyway, so it, it was in World War One. Uh, the warfare angle, as I was trying to say earlier, uh, may have been what associated cockpits for cockfights with the control area of an aircraft because the war, war detective website tells it all. Man, these words are... They're all okay. By early 1700s, cockpit was a being used in a figurative sense for an arena or battle or conflict, especially if enclosed. Wow. Uh, or an area of intense and important activity. It was the place where the important things are done. Sense and not thank heavens for the fighting chickens. Meaning that led cockpit to be applied to the pilot's comportment in an aircraft and by extension, the control position in racing a, in a racing car, sailboat, or similar conveyance. What the hell is this story even about? I really don't know because I kind of tuned you out about. So that's you know, it. I'm not even. So hold on. Well, let's, let's talk about something for a second. Can, can you find the gist? I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm like, trying. I'm trying. Trying. How does it? Ah, uh, the French term "cock" means shell. Gives a alternate meaning of "cock" in the English word for boat. Sometimes it's hilarious. Cock boat. Cock plus swain. An archaic term for servant. Cock swain or boat tender. Or a keeper. Wow. The coxswain. I'm just reading words here. <laughs> Not really meaning anything. Another After thing. smelling a dark thought, nope. <laughs> coxswain or cox is also nope. A coxswain position in a boat is something called a cockpit. Doesn't help me. Well, still oh. a funny word, no matter where it came from. It is a funny word. And I suppose I should just take joy in that. I really would have liked to know why. why it's in an airplane. Why do they call that a cockpit? I would because it's always guys too. driving an no. airplane. No, did you not listen? To, they don't know why, Larry. <laughs> oh. I mean, geez. Oh, that's the whole premise of the story. They have no freaking idea. None. I'm kind of pissed off about it. But, <laughs> but it's a funny word. It's better than penis hole. <laughs> Back to so, you, Bob. <laughs> Joe, you know, speaking of that, what penis hole? <laughs> Mom bakes number one cookies for son's first birthday, and they look wrong. Why? Well, no, wait, look at the monitor. Wait, Jen, a uh, mom from New Jersey, recently tried to recreate a very sweet family tradition. When she was born, her mom bought similar number of cookie cutters to make cookies every year based on age. You know, that's kind of cute, like two, three, four, like cookies. That's what you get for your birthday. I get what you're saying. Right. So they were all used for Jen and her sister's birthday. When Jen grew up, she started borrowing them from her mom and using them for her kids' birthdays. For a nice tradition. Here are some four cookies, number four, uh, for her daughter's fourth birthday. So you only get one cookie per birthday? It seems like kind of... Yeah. Like, like, hey, cake. Yeah, I know. Cake is way better than cookies. Yeah. I mean, I but cake. I like cookies. I, like I had cake. two, but one cookie or a piece of cake, what would we really have? I think you get a whole tray of cookies. Nine for bacon. Would she have a whole tray of fours? Yeah. Oh, you oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm an idiot. Jen's 11th month old son... First birthday is on June 17th, and naturally she wanted to partake in the tradition as well. Of course she does. Yeah, so on Sunday, Jen decided to begin her prep for a little guy's big birthday. I bet it's a penis. She and her husband, JT, weird. Uh, That's hmm, weird. I know JT. are planning the party and wanted to bake number one cookies to put in the people's goodies bags. Oh, she gave them to other people. Goodie bags, oh, not goodies bags. Should have took a good look at them that before you put them in somebody else's. Bag. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's where it's supposed to go, though. Somebody else's bag. Yeah, but you you saw the picture for these cookies. Yeah, Jen, <laughs> Jen got to work. She baked up her cookies and iced them. As they were cooling, her husband JT walked into the kitchen and took a long, hard look at the cookies. I bet he got excited. They look like something else. JT told Huff Post. Rocky Jen shoes. didn't say it. Really? Yeah. She probably hasn't seen it in years. She, or at least one year. Why are there some guys months. that see penises and everything? I thought you'd tell about rocket ships this whole time. Yeah, so she gave me a defiant, no, they look like ones, hmm. JT said. But JT disagreed with his wife and found their resemblance to something completely different than look, the number. So will you look at it? <laughs> and look at this cookie, look at it. How did you not see it? He decided to snap a photo of the cookies and post them on Twitter. Oh, man. The post quickly went viral. 
Receiving 35,000 likes and 12,000 retweets. Wait, let's make some cookies. Yeah. And then you can eat them. And many people agree I with JT tweeting our photos tweeting. <laughs> and gifts that they illustrated that they saw exactly what the amused husband saw as well. Okay, so guys, take a look at the picture and tell me what you think they look like. Because I can see it, unfortunately. I can't unsee it. So, anyway. Hey, uh, Larry. What? Do you know that if you put grapes in the microwave and turn it on, they'll catch fire? Why would somebody put grapes in a microwave? I don't really don't know. I mean, well, that's, that's news, news to us. us.